Hi there! My name is Sarah, and this quick video is going to cover my favorite type of ruler in Clip Studio Paint, the Symmetry Ruler. Check out my Rulers Overview tutorial if you need a primer on these useful tools. Start by clicking the Ruler tool, and select the Symmetrical Ruler subtool. By default, the number of lines is set to 2, and line symmetry is enabled. This is the most common way this tool is used. Click and drag a line anywhere on your canvas. Anything you draw on one side will be reflected on the other. It's that simple. To keep it perfectly vertical or horizontal, hold down the Shift key as you draw the ruler. You can also enable the Snap Angle option in the settings to lock it to 45 degree angles, or even change the angle to something specific if you need to. You may want the ruler centered on your canvas. Go to the Operation tool, and make sure the Object subtool is selected. Click the ruler to select it. Now you can click and drag the ruler to reposition it, or use these handles to change the angle if you wish. For more precision, use these options in the Object Properties. For example, I know my canvas is 1200 pixels square, so I can set the center X to 600 to center it vertically. Ignore center Y for the moment. If you don't know your canvas size, you can check it by going to the Edit menu and choose Change Canvas Size. You may need to change the unit dropdown to PX to see the size in pixels. While we're here, I'll also show you how to disable and enable the ruler. Uncheck Snap. The ruler color changes to indicate it's now disabled. There's also a tiny icon right next to the ruler here. Clicking on that does the same thing as the snap toggle. It's worth noting that while you can have more than one symmetry ruler on your canvas, only one will be active at a time. Adding a new one disables any others. With the symmetry ruler set up and centered, it's now really easy to draw something symmetrical, like a heart. But there's so much more you can do with this tool. When you first create a symmetry ruler, the number of lines option is set to 2. What that actually means is that there's one line above the center point, and one line below it. For simple bilateral symmetry, this doesn't really matter. But what happens if we go to, say, four lines? Now the lines are obvious. One, two, three, four. Anything you draw will be reflected both horizontally and vertically. You get a different sort of effect if you turn off the Line Symmetry checkbox. Now instead of a mirror image, your drawing is duplicated and rotated in each section. Note that the Line Symmetry option is only available for even numbers of lines. You'll see it dim out if you choose an odd number. Let's draw a simple flower next. You can draw it with the pen tool, of course, but there's something else I want to show you. For this one, I'll set the number of lines to 6, and turn off Line Symmetry. Go back to the Object subtool, and select the ruler. I'll center this one on both the X and Y axis. Next, go to the Figure tool, and choose Ellipse. That's right! Shapes can work with symmetry, too! Remember, if the tool you picked isn't working with the ruler, open the Subtool Detail palette by clicking the wrench. Go to Correction, and tick Enable Snapping. You can do this with almost any tool. Here, I'm using the Liquify tool with Snapping enabled to add a little character to my flower petals. Now I'll add a circle for the flower's center. If you leave Snapping on for this, you'll get a bunch of overlapping circles. It works best if you turn it off. Incidentally, using shapes with symmetry rulers can give you some great spirograph effects. Let's bump the number of lines setting all the way up to 16, and turn line symmetry on. Go to the Object subtool, and center the ruler. Then, use the Pen tool to draw some lines. Hold down the Shift key to draw a straight line from the pen's last point. 
It's just this easy to make beautiful snowflake designs. Try it out, and don't forget to tag me at Miss Red Nebula on social media with your designs. As one last demonstration, here's a fun Halloween coloring page I made using the Symmetry Ruler. Download a printable copy for free via the link below, and Happy Halloween! You can see why I love this tool so much. It's a lot of fun to work with and incredibly useful. Anyhow, that's it for this one. Have fun with Symmetry! A big thank you to all of my patrons, with a special shout out to Novatier patron Joe C. Phipps. Check out my Patreon if you'd like to help support future content like this.